Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am outside in my backyard as you can tell. It is a bit windy so I apologize if you can't hear what I'm saying very well. And the reason for that is I'm doing a little backyard project today slash this week. It may take more than a day. We'll see what happens but I'm going to document the entire process. So what we're doing is making a little garden bed in this cast iron bath we have here this has been sitting in our garage for about two years now um, we actually used it at our engagement party to put drinks and ice in and we've had it sitting in our garage ever since and we were kind of like what are we going to do with this bath how are we going to get rid of it who's going to want it it is so so heavy um, and I was like you know what let's put it in the backyard and I'll turn it into a garden so our backyard is very very small we don't have a lot of space to work with so I thought it could be kind of cool to do like an above ground garden in the bath. So I'll go down there and I'll give you guys a close up of what the bath looks like. And yeah. So as you can see, it is beautiful. It is a light pink color on the inside. The bottom of it is just a plain cast iron color. But I do plan on painting that to match this baby pink color. Hopefully I can find some paint in a very similar color to the inside of the bath. Um, I also need to grab some potting mix. John worked out that this is about 340 liters so I'm going to need quite a lot. We'll see how much I can fit in my car. I may have to do two trips but we'll see how we go. What I plan on planting in here is flowers. I am absolutely in love with flowers at the moment. I've never really been much of a flowers person but recently I've just found this new appreciation for flowers. Um, I'm going to head inside because it's really windy out here and you guys probably can't hear me very well. So one moment. Okay, that's a bit better. Sorry if you guys couldn't really hear what I was saying out there. It is quite windy. But basically what I was saying is I have found a new appreciation for flowers recently. I've never really been much of a flowers person when it comes to my own garden. Not that I've ever really had a garden, I suppose. I'm more of a pot plants kind of gal or an indoor plant kind of gal but I found a new love and appreciation for flowers recently so I've been growing a few different types of flowers I've got some sunflowers going I've got some lavender going I've got some daisies and I've also planted some seeds for some Australian natives I'll give you guys a close-up of all of them um, in a moment but yeah I just really love the idea of having a beautiful flower garden all of a sudden. So we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it goes to plan and my idea comes to life, literally. So as I said, I plan on planting flowers in the bathtub. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen my little updates um, of what I've been growing, but I've been growing let me flip you guys around. I've been growing some sunflowers. So these are like a larger variety of sunflower in this pot here. And then I've got some little dwarf sunflowers in this pot here. I am going to transplant them into the bath um, now that they're big enough to be able to remove from this pot and replant. Um, I've also got some sunflowers in here which are still really little babies so they won't be ready to go yet but at some point I will probably move them into the bath as well and then I've got a lavender plant here and also some more lavender here that I'm trying to grow which I don't know if that's actually sprouted yet no it hasn't so that won't be ready to move into the bath yet but eventually I will probably move I've also got these daisies that I plan on moving into the bath. I think they'll look really, really cute, especially against like the baby pink. And then in this little mini greenhouse here, I've planted some seeds which have just started to sprout. So obviously they're not ready yet, but once they're a little bit bigger, I'll be moving some of these into the bath as well. These are a mixture of Australian natives. You buy them in a bulk pack and it's just a whole mixture of seeds all mixed together so you don't really know what you're going to get it's kind of a lucky dip um so i'm really interested to see how these babies turn out but for now i'm going to let them be because they are still so tiny 
and once they're a bit bigger, I'll be able to move them into the bath. Today, what we're gonna do is just head off to Bunnings. All I need to get is some potting mix and some paint to paint the bottom of the bath. So, yeah, let's do it. I'm not sure if I will get this all done in one day, but we'll see how we go. I mean, I don't see why not. The only issue is the weather because it does look like it may rain today. It's kind of windy, so we'll see how we go. But fingers crossed I can get most of it done today. I may just have to paint the bottom of it another day, but I can probably get the plants in today. All right, so I just pulled up to Bunnings. I was worried there was gonna be a huge line because today's Sunday, so usually Bunnings gets really, really busy on the weekend and especially with COVID restrictions and everything, but there's actually no line. That's insane. So I just got home from Bunnings. I got all the potting mix I needed. It fit really easily in my car, which I was surprised about. It actually wasn't as big as I thought it was. Anyway, I just wanted to check the color of this. So the color that I went with to paint the bottom of the bath is called Kenyan Pink. I pretty much just eyeballed it. Um, I did take a picture of the bath to take with me before I went. So we'll see how good my color matching skills are. Look, I don't think it's gonna be exactly the same, but we'll see. It's the moment of truth. Oh my God. Guys, look at that. That is bloody spot on. I could not have gotten a closer match if I tried, I reckon. How good is that? That's what colour the bottom here is going to be now. I'm so proud with my colour selection. That is bloody spot on. I was going to paint the bottom before I put the potting mix in it in case I needed to move it. Um, this is really, really heavy. It is cast iron. It took three of the boys to move it out here from our garage. So it's not easy to move and especially not if it's full of potting mix. So I was going to paint it before I put the potting mix in, but it looks like it may rain. So I just want to get the potting mix in and get the plants in and then I'll paint the bottom of it tomorrow or the next day when it's nicer weather. This also needs to be washed down because it's dusty and dirty so it's not really ready to be painted straight away. So all I'm going to do is fill up the bath with the potting mix and then we'll paint the bottom of it another day. I had absolutely no idea how much paint to get so I literally got the smallest one and just I'm going to hope for the best. I think this is 500 Mills. Worst case scenario, I will just do the front section and not worry about the back. Chances are this is not going to be moved for a really long time once it's got potting mix in it, so I'm not too worried about painting the back of it. Um, I've only got this much paint, so I'll just have to make it last, otherwise I'll have to go buy more, but we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm going to go and fill this up with potting mix. Fingers crossed we got enough. So 
are in for now as I said before I am gonna add more as my seedlings get bigger but for now we've got the larger variety of sunflowers on this end then we've got the lavender in the middle then we've got the dwarf sunflowers and then we've got the daisies the reason I've planted them in this order is because the sunflowers and the lavender don't mind direct sunlight whereas the daisies I think are a little bit more sensitive to direct sunlight so this end will get less sun than this end of the bath um, but in saying that they all will still get decent sunlight which is great so now I'm going to give them a good water and we'll see how they go. Alright guys, today it is painting day. I'm going to paint the bottom of the bath. Like I said before, I'm more just focusing on the front of the bath. I'm not too worried about the back because you're not going to see it anyway. Um, it is quite a nice day today, so fingers crossed it doesn't rain and the paint will dry really quickly. It is a water-based paint, so they said it should dry pretty quick, which is great. Um, I'm going to try and do two coats if I can, but as I said before, I got the tiniest tin of paint because I know nothing about painting I had no idea how much I would need this says it should do 16 square meters so surely it'll be enough for two coats on the front of the bath you would think anyway so all I've got here is an old takeaway container which I'm going to pour the paint into I've got my paintbrush and I've got this plastic knife that I'm going to use to stir the paint because I don't own a paint stirrer <laughs> So anyway, let's give this a go and see how it turns out. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished the first coat. It's looking pretty good. At the moment, I am going to do another coat, but it says to let it dry first, so I'm going to do that. I'll go have lunch, and then I'll come back and do another coat. I think I did miss a little bit down the bottom there, but that's alright. I will touch that up when I do the second coat, but otherwise, it's looking really good. I also just wanted to add, it's been a couple of days since I transplanted all of these plants into the bath, and... Something has eaten that sunflower that was there. Something has eaten that sunflower that was there and the one that was there. The daisies and the lavender seem to be going okay. The lavender actually looks like it's about to bloom, which is awesome. But yeah, I'm not sure what happened to my sunflowers. Something has been eating them. I'm pretty sure it's snails. Um, I was told that if I put coffee beans around the bottom of the plants it will help deter the snails so I might have to do that and see if that helps at all. Alright so it's been probably almost two hours now since I did this. It's feeling quite dry so I'm gonna go ahead now and do the second coat. It's looking really good. Um, it is a little bit patchy because obviously I've only done one coat so hopefully with the second coat it will look amazing. Well guys, that is the second coat done. Obviously, because of the shadow, you guys can't really see, but it's looking really good. It's definitely not perfect, but I'm not a professional painter, so I never expected it to be absolutely perfect. It's looking really good. The color match is awesome. I'm gonna wait for it to dry, and then I'll give you guys a little bit of a review. I just thought I would add as well that this can of paint was heaps. I still have at least I reckon half a can left. So this little can was absolutely enough and some. So I was worried for no reason that it wouldn't be enough. The paint actually goes a lot further than what you expect. Who knew? Alrighty guys, we 
are done. As you can see, I have finished painting the bottom of the bath here. It looks absolutely amazing. The color match again is so bloody good. I'm so proud of that. Um, these are the plants that I've got in here at the moment. So we've got daisies, some dwarf sunflowers, some lavender, and a larger variety of sunflowers. I believe these are Russian sunflowers off the top of my head. Um, obviously I am also going to plant some more things in here, but I'm just waiting for my seedlings to get nice and big so they can be replanted into the bath. But I'll zoom out a little bit and give you guys an overall look. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. I can't wait for these guys to actually grow. Well guys, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you will be notified of all my future videos. But in the meantime, stay safe, be kind. I'll see you next time and watch this space because I will keep you guys updated on the progress of the growth.